In this video, I will demonstrate how open source investigators can analyze a Tinder account to uncover information about the registered user. Please note that everything we do here falls under OSINT open source intelligence, meaning we only gather information from publicly accessible resources. The individual is already aware of the public information they've shared, and we are not accessing anything private. Everything we analyze is already available on the internet. Here's the plan for this video. We will examine a Tinder account, attempt to trace other accounts linked to the same person, and potentially uncover additional details such as their email address, workplace, certifications, and more. With that said, let's dive right in. To begin, we have a Tinder profile named Marcel. The first step is to document all the information visible on the profile in a notepad. We can see that Marcel is 39 years old and a software engineer at a particular university. From this, we've gathered their name, age, profession, and university. The next step is identifying the university. Since this is my first encounter with it, I'll use Google to search for it. It turns out the university is located in Brazil. I'll note this information, along with the full URL of Marcel's profile, in my notepad. Moving on to the profile picture, we can download it and perform a reverse image search using AI tools we've covered in previous videos. To download the image, right-click, select Inspect, use the arrow tool to hover over the picture, and copy the full URL. After cleaning up the URL, paste it into a new tab, download the image, and save it for further use. Next, let's uncover Marcel's exact date of birth. On Tinder, right-click on the page and select View Page Source. Press Ctrl plus F, search for birth, and you'll find their date of birth. In this case, January 1st, 1985. Add this to the notepad along with their occupation and name. Now that we know Marcel's name, workplace, and university, the best platforms for further investigation are Facebook and LinkedIn. I'll start with LinkedIn. Searching for Marcel, I filter the results by location, Brazil, and education, the university. This reveals a profile that matches the details we've gathered. Marcel, whose last name starts with M, and who is a senior staff software engineer. To find their full name, check comments or posts they've shared. However, this could be time-consuming. Alternatively, certifications often display full names. In this case, I found Marcel's full name under the certification section. Adding this to the notepad, I also observe that their LinkedIn URL includes a unique username, which is critical for further research. Another useful area is the recommendations section, where people might mention the person's full name. Even if it's not visible, this section is worth exploring for additional context. With Marcel's full name, I can expand the search to platforms like Facebook and Google. Using quotation marks around their name, combined with details like their workplace or city, often yields precise results. Switching to image search, I can identify profiles or pictures that match. For example, I discovered a new username linked to Marcel, which I added to my notes for further analysis. Tools like Sherlock or What's My Name can be used to analyze usernames across platforms, uncovering email addresses, phone numbers, reviews, and other personal details. This methodology can be extended to gather even more insights. Since this is a YouTube video, I've kept it brief and to the point. If you have additional methodologies or suggestions, please share them in the comments. I'd be happy to explore those ideas and create more videos. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.